Hi kids, it's Pastor Dave and I'm here with another lesson for you today. Now, we're going to be hearing parts from the Gospel of Matthew tomorrow anyway. But I want to read this one verse to remind you what we're looking at this week, and that's the wise men and their gifts. Then they entered the house and saw the child with Mary, his mother. Falling to their knees, they honored him. They opened their treasure chests and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Now, on Thursday, we talked about gold. Gold's the one that most people really know what it is. But do you know what frankincense and myrrh are? I'd be amazed if you did. Those are two resins, basically sap from trees that grow in the Middle East, especially in the southern part of the Arabian Peninsula and in the Horn of Africa. So you're looking at countries like Yemen, Oman, Saudi Arabia, Somaliland, Somalia. Ethiopia. Now these, both frankincense and myrrh, are in scripture for various things. These were used primarily for the scent they gave. And I actually have some here and some anointing oil. Now if we were together, I could open this up and you could all take a sniff of it. I will tell you, this lasts a long time and the smell lingers and it is strong. But one thing that both frankincense and myrrh were used was for anointing and to honor God. Frankincense was used at the altar of the temple and in the tabernacle. We know that from the Old Testament. And also from the Old Testament, we know that myrrh was used to anoint. That means this gift has meaning because this vial is actually anointing oil. It's oil that I've used at baptisms, that I've used when people have been sick and requested to be anointed. When they gave frankincense and myrrh to Jesus, they were showing who he was. They were marking, showing that he was one who would die because those frequencies were used in preparing a body for burial. But they were also used for anointing the priests and in use in worship. In doing that, they were honoring God more than anything else because... Frankincense was used at the altar of God. Myrrh was used to anoint the priests of God. It was showing that Christ was God and Christ is a priest of God, the holy priest. So these gifts have even more meaning than the gold. They weren't nearly as valuable. But they say so much more about who the baby Jesus was. And when we remember that, we remember of how important he is to us. For he is our priest, and Jesus is the Son of God. Let us pray. Dear God, help us to remember all that you do for us, and how we can go directly to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, kids, come next week. We're going to start at the beginning of the Bible and look over some familiar stories and see what they tell us. So until next time, kids, take care.